Hi, I'm Alexis, your Pharma Ledger virtual host. The technology behind Pharma Ledger is distributed ledger technology, aka blockchain. Blockchain is a buzzword, and in this video, we want to try and demystify it a bit. Blockchain is a network managed database. The full content of this database is stored in every computer of the network, which can be public, private, or a hybrid network. This model of data distribution is the first feature and benefit of using blockchain, security. To hack and tamper with records would require hacking multiple servers and computers at the same time, making it highly unlikely and very costly. The blockchain network can be programmed to record and track anything of value. All records in a blockchain database are recorded in batches, which are called blocks. All information is stored in a block using encryption, a complex mathematical puzzle which makes each block a unique signature based on its original content. A change of the content would result in a change of the unique signature, making the record invalid. This feature is the second benefit of blockchain, immutability. Differently to a common database, blockchain is designed to assign its blocks to a permanent sequence of records. To do that, every block carries a cryptographic signature of the previous block, organizing the database in a chain of blocks. This special way of recording data is the third feature and benefit of using a blockchain, traceability. Security, immutability and traceability combined generate more benefits to using a blockchain, such as data provenance, auditability and privacy. That makes blockchain a great technological advancement, able to transform the way we interact with valuable data. Some even call blockchain the Internet of Value. The Pharma Ledger Consortium aims to lay the foundations for a blockchain-enabled healthcare vision, which can improve transparency and compliance of supply chains, increase efficiency of clinical trials, thus reducing the drug development time, and further empowering patients to manage their health data. That's it for now. I hope that helped. See you in our next video. There is much to talk about.